fleets with zero security deposit on new 22 and 21 Rams. Do you prefer to custom design and order your new vehicle? We can do that for you. Stop and hit. Hey. It's been a busy week. It's been a busy week doing just this. Editing television commercials. Well, shooting and editing television commercials. Uh, it's been all week. I started the week off with a public service announcement that I did for a friend of mine that owns an ad agency. And then I shot at a, one of my clients, which is it's a um, car dealership. Did two commercials there. They had to be edited. And then the very next day, I shoot at a Harley Davidson dealership is another client and I'd edit that commercial those two commercials for the car dealership one for the Harley and I got those two together today and sending them on their way for approval and it's Saturday and I usually give you a video every Sunday and I hadn't even started one yet so that's what you're seeing now but I do have some stuff to show you. I do have some ideas and I promised you some updates on some things. So let's get going. My name is Jonathan and I'm a caregiver for my wife Lynn who has a permanent brain injury. Things are different now but we're doing the best that we can. Join us as we experience the Lynn life. Well, sorry for the long-winded intro, but I have been busy, and that's okay. I'm all right with that. It's, good. it's a good thing. But I do have some things I want to show you, and about four weeks ago I did a video right here on my creative space, and one of the things I had mentioned was I didn't, I didn't have a photograph of my father at his work table here and uh, my sister sent me a picture of an article that was done several years, you know, many years ago and there was a photograph of him at this very workbench and to make it even more interesting the photographer and the person that wrote the article is one of my best friends and uh, I actually spoke to him or, or texted him about it and he says oh yeah I remember that day very well so that's interesting moving on in that same video I showed a uh, some work that I was doing on the railroad station and I said uh, I like showing you projects that are not complete because then I can show you later some of the updates and it's kind of like taking you on the journey so I'd like to show you an update on the uh, train station because we did add lighting to it so now you can really see uh, the interior well uh, there's still a little more work to go on the station but uh, most of it is all done uh, we want to add street lights to just the outside which we might actually uh, do tomorrow. I was just talking to Justin about it. and But all the other lighting is complete uh, in it and uh, you can see there's inside one window there's a bunch of people uh, conducting a uh, meeting. This is actually a board meeting. I call that the uh, uh, the board of directors for the model railroad. And then there's some offices on the other side and of course there's the uh, waiting room inside. You can see all the people very well and there's uh, uh, lights on either end of the uh, station outside underneath the little canopy there. So, uh, but we're going to add those street lights soon and uh, a couple other lights. So um, that's good and then uh, I also started working on another row of buildings in sort of a far right hand corner of the model railroad that wasn't very accessible so this partially done row of buildings was just sitting there and I never really had finished it. So I had to bring that over and put it on the workbench and get to work on it and uh, 
started adding details and one of the details I wanted to add to it was the actual names of the businesses, uh, the sidewalk and all that had to be done. A lot of other little details. Um, I love coming up with names for businesses and in particular I like to add people's names to those businesses and uh, people who uh, who I know or have known uh, that uh, were either very good friends or relatives, people like that, and I like to add them to the business names. And it was something that my father started doing, uh, you know, years ago. And my sister's names are on some of the buildings, uh, some of the businesses. And um, there are some people that are watching that will uh, will, will see them and know. Um, but, um, one of the names on the, uh, the School of Art just happens to be my, uh, my very good friend who wrote the newspaper article about my dad. So, and he's an artist. So, it was cool adding him to it. And then another very good friend is, uh, happens to be a, uh, managing editor for a newspaper. So I added him to... Uh, his name on the front of a newspaper office and the actual business names actually came from Disney because we've always been big Disney fans I'm very interested in the history of you know Walt Disney and the parks and uh, I pulled some of these business names off of uh, Main Street USA in both Disney World and Disneyland um, so that made it kind of interesting too, so I thought that was fun. I did a little research, and it's fun. It's fun doing that type of stuff. So, um, and I enjoy adding uh, uh, those names to you know. It's like um, honoring those people, I guess. And then, in fact, there's a plumbing supply that has uh, a friend of mine's name on it. He doesn't know it yet. I can't wait to show him. <laughs> That, that's the only business that isn't on Main Street USA. I just made that up totally. And uh, he just lives down the road, so I'm going to enjoy showing him that business. Something else that I did um, was I did complete my uh, G.I. Joe display up there. Um, the German G.I. Joe hadn't gotten his new clothes yet, and now he has those. And the last thing I just received was his machine gun. So uh, here's a shot of him. And um, he's now complete. Oh, he has a new helmet, too. His old helmet, which I still have, uh, was very cracked and everything. So I got a, uh, a, new, a new helmet for him. Now, I couldn't buy any of the original stuff because it was way too expensive. Way more than I wanted to spend. If I wanted to get him the original uh, German uniform, which I still have, but it's just ripped up. It's not in very good shape. If I wanted to get one of those in good shape, uh, I, I was checking uh, eBay out. And it was uh, one of those were up for auction, and it went for over $70 just for a little coat and pair of pants. So I couldn't justify that. So around uh, 1994 and 1004 they had the 30 and 40th anniversary editions and they remade some uh, new clothes and products for these GI Joes and they're actually better I think they're much more realistic and uh, they're actually collectible as well but they don't go for the money that the original 1964 stuff does so uh, that's what they're wearing. I figured, well, the figures themselves are the original 64s, but uh, the clothes are a little newer. That's okay. They deserve it. Something else I've been doing in the last four weeks, or accomplished in the last four weeks, was this model kit of a Ford Tri-Motor. Um, I'm going to have, suspend this over the model railroad. Um, I bought this uh, at a train show uh, many years ago and uh, never built a kit. It's actually a retro kit from the 70s, 
paid really good money for it, but I wanted a Ford tri-motor, and uh, it was like a couple things were glued together already. Um, nothing was really done to it, so I finished the kit, and here it is, and this will be suspended, a Ford tri-motor. This was actually a model of the first commercially made passenger plane. And I figured it would be perfect to put up over the model railroad. And the only other thing I did was also build a little 1940 Ford Coupe right there and weathered it and everything. That will go on the model railroad as well. I kind of, I go back and forth from a big project like the train station or something like that. And then I switch off to a little teeny one that I can probably do in a half a day but uh, I like switching on and off like that that's, that's what keeps me interested because if you only do these big projects you'll lose interest so um, and they don't get completed that happened may that happen sometimes anyways but then you go back to it it could be months or a year later to finish it so yeah, that's what I've been doing. Now, it's March, and uh, soon the weather will be getting be uh, well warmer, a little better. Uh, we still have plenty of snow on the ground, although tomorrow could be in the 50s and 60s. Of course, it's going to rain, so the snow will melt. Hopefully, there's no flooding. Next week looks a little bit milder. We're going to have a little more snow, but hopefully not a whole lot. And uh, by the time we get into April, things start getting a little milder. We can still get snow in April. We can still get snow in the beginning of May. But not much. It melts real quick. Usually by the time May hits, I can be riding my motorcycle. Last year, I actually did get on the motorcycle at the end of March. And then April got rough again, and it actually snowed, and then I got back on later in April. But, uh, so we're hoping to be able to move outside with some of these, uh, these vlogs. I'd like to do a, a vlog on uh, making maple syrup up at the root farm. That's probably the next thing we'll do when we actually get outside and get Lynn doing something different outside as well. And uh, then there'll be a return to uh, doing a lot of outdoor spring stuff. And it'll be a lot easier for me to come up with subject matter for these vlogs. But you kind of run out of things this time of year doing inside. You know, and uh, I'm not a skier, I'm not a snowmobiler, so I don't have those type things to do outdoors. So, um, so that's about it. What do you guys do there in the winter? Some of you down south, things are pretty much the same, right? Actually, this is if you're in Florida, this is the best time. This is riding season. It's it's uh, bike week this week. I end up watch. I watch a lot of uh, YouTube videos on Bike Week. It gives gets me all geared up for the spring and getting on my motorcycle again. As well, I just shot that commercial for Harley Davidson too, so that kind of gives me. I've been doing that every month, though. and um, that always gets me fired up. So I think that's about it can't think of any other updates I wanted to give you. I think I got them all. So we'll see you next time on The Lynn Life. <music>